an object in one-dimensional motion has a position given by this equation, where t is in seconds and x is in meters. Find the object's velocity and acceleration at t equals to one second, and the average velocity and the average acceleration from t equals to one to four seconds. The instantaneous velocity v as a function of time can be found by taking the derivative dx dt because uh, the average velocity by definition is delta x over delta t. So the instantaneous value is the dx dt. To take the derivative of this polynomial, we can look at one term at a time. So 2, the coefficient stays right there, and then we bring down the 3, and then we lose 1 degree of power, so it's t squared. And then minus the 3 stays, and this is t to the first degree, so we bring the 1 down, and then we get t to the 1 minus 1, zeroth degree. When we take derivative of the constant, we get 0. So this is 6t squared minus 3. We want the velocity at t equals to 1, so we just have to plug in t equals to 1 to this equation. So this will be 6 times 1 squared minus 3, which is 3 meters per second. For the acceleration, we have to take derivative of the velocities, which means we take one more derivative so it's dv dt, because uh, the definition of average acceleration is delta v over delta t. So the instantaneous acceleration is dv dt. We take derivative of this one, so it's uh, 6 times, uh, we bring down the exponent, and then we lose 1 degree of power. And then when we take derivative of this constant, we get 0. So this is... Uh, 12t. If we want the acceleration at one second, we just have to mem uh, uh, we just have to plug in the t equals to one. So this gives us uh, 12, and that will be meters per second squared. Because we lose one degree of power when we take the derivative of a polynomial, if the position as a function of time is a third degree equation, the velocity, which is the time derivative of position, would be a second degree equation. The acceleration, which is the time derivative of velocity, would be a first degree equation. So third, second, first degree equations. Now let's find the average velocity and average acceleration. Just like graph problems, if you have an equation problem, to find the average values, we go by definitions. The definition of average velocity is delta x over delta t. And in this case, because we have position as a function of time, so we can just uh, fi do final minus initial to find the delta x. The final value for x is at t equals to 4. So we just have to plug in t equals to 4 to this equation. Minus the position at the beginning, which is at t equals to 1. And then we divide this by delta t. So if we plug in t equals to 4, we get 2 times 4 cubed minus 3 times 4 plus 5, and then minus what we get when we plug in t equals to 1. So it's 2 times 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 plus 5. And then, of course, the delta t would be final minus initial as well, so it would be 4 minus 1. The plus 5 cancels, and this will give us... Uh, 117 divided by 3, which gives us 39 meters per second. The definition for average acceleration is delta v over delta t. Because we already have the velocity as a function of time, so we just have to find the final v velocity minus the initial velocity for the delta v, and just plugging the final time into the velocity equation for the final value, and then plugging t equals to 1 to the velocity equation for the initial value. So this would be, it's uh, 6 
times the 4 squared minus 3, that's the final value, minus the initial value will be 6 times 1 squared minus 3. And then of course delta t will be 4 minus 1 again. These two cancel and what we get is 90 divided by 3, which gives us 30 meters per second squared.